Radio. Your boy Pow Wow Sumo World Radio with a dope yeah. Sumo. What's up, baby? Y'all tuned in to Sumo World Radio. Make sure you always check them out. Always support me. Nigga Sumo Radio. Where you headed? It's your boy DJ Hard Hitter. You know I'm in the mix. Sumo, 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 Sumo. Sumo World Radio is going down. Exo like the drug. DJ Exo. Mr. I just put out a lot. We get a lot of money around here. Give a shout out to everybody out there in the H, uh, uh, you know, that support me whenever you hear I got something going on. Appreciate it. This is Carl Thomas, Sumo World Radio, y'all. Please believe it. Uh huh. Nah. I'm, I'm gonna be releasing some stuff on Rap Sumo Radio so y'all already know. There it is. We're gonna... What up, y'all? This is Case giving a great big shout out to Sumo World Radio. Keep it locked right here, man. Don't go nowhere. What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy Pillar, man. E. Lee Empire. We live right now. Red Couch Chronicles, man. E2 Ultra Lounge. I'm with Sumo World Radio, man. And we live in this thing. Shouts out to Sumo, man. We getting it in, man. Anytime y'all want to jump on these Red Couch Chronicles, holler at your boy Sumo. He'll tighten you up, get you right. Make sure you're red right, though. Let's get it. Double salute. Sumo World Radio, man. Caught up with the infamous, you know what I'm saying? Straight up from the East East Coast, that is. Y'all know who that is, man. That's state property. At least that's three members of state property Let's right go. now. Y'all yeah. know who that is over there. That's the Jen. Goddamn Benny. Freeway. Crack his motherfucking self. Ring, ring. You know what I'm saying? How y'all boys doing, man? Good, man. Now another tour, man. Just tore it down out here. Most definitely. How y'all feeling about it coming out here in H-Time, bro? The love crazy. Man, you know, the world is really happy to see all y'all groups getting back together to them, right? We should have been out here, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's money y'all probably been missing for about, what, 10 years right now? We're going to get it back. We're going to recoup it. Y'all, now, you listen, y'all ain't missing no money. I can't. I'm, I'm not going to play with y'all like that. Right. I, I know you niggas stay getting it. Really, niggas? <laughs> all right. So here I go. So, man, what y'all working on right now? The tour that we're doing this tour now, another tour. I got, I got a leak word, though, say y'all working on an album, nigga. I mean, That's what I heard. Music been getting recorded. Yeah. Well, no, we ain't putting no labels, no stamp or label on it, but just we just, stay, just stay we just creating. Create, create for sure. So, so y'all sign happened. with. That's what happened when we come together. Anyway. The group signed with Self now. What you mean? We independent. Yeah, independent. Yeah, oh, that's that's more money. Definitely. More cheddar going on, man. Yeah. So since y'all been out here, y'all got any any good Houston food in y'all veins? I had fun going to that screw shop. The screw shop. That was dope. Yeah. I seen beans was in that shopping, right? Bought you a couple of good shirts, you know what I'm saying? But see, Bean's been coming out here for a minute too. All y'all really have, though. Mac probably been out here more than all of us. Yeah, he was, Mac was down, down. He was out here when Bun then was on, on their trip. And when Flippin' was on their trip, man. Bun, yeah, Bun yeah. showed us a lot of love. Mac don't even know it. I got a video of Mac rapping in the streets of South by Southwest. Word. Word. He just, all of a sudden, somebody just was freestyling. Mac just dropped off and just started kicking boys in the middle show, of the street. Might show a little clip of that I'm right gonna put it on there. I got y'all. I'ma leak that so so y'all can have that. Most oh, definitely. So so let me start with Mac real quick. So so Mac, you been signing new artists, man? Do you man? Cause I heard I heard I know you the Godfather out there in Philly, huh? Yeah, I got I got I got a couple artists that I'm looking at right now. I got one artist named Moolery. Okay. I mean, squad, uh, squad Philly. Most definitely, most definitely. So he might be he might be there, huh? Yeah, I mean he gonna be his own individual. <laughs> It never been another. Nah, it can't be. Are oh, y'all bringing the clothes black? Yes. Back, not black. Goddamn right, cause I still. I'm be honest, I still got some, and I can still wear it. <laughs> y'all was making clothes for the big boys, so you know what I'm saying. Like most, Everybody most people. That. I mean, it's real shit. Like it wasn't a lot of companies that were making clothes to fit the big dudes. You know what I'm saying? I got nigga, I got jackets, hats, shirts, all kind of shit. So I'm down with it, man. Free. Hey, man. First of all, I love you, man. Pray for you on a regular. You know, you know, your like your life story right now has transitioned into even more depth. You know what I'm saying? And we've been watching your life for a long time down here. I know I have, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I know you niggas, to be honest with you, because all the shit that I've been seeing you go through or whatever. You and 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 all three of y'all is one of my favorite rappers. You know what I'm saying? So I know you shit word for word or whatever. Even when we screwed it up. Have y'all heard yourself screwed up yet? Yeah, I have. You have? You loved it? Yeah. What y'all ain't heard that stuff screwed up yet? I never heard myself. See, no, so so heard. before y'all leave, y'all need to go back to the screw shop, right? I text y'all which you want to screw tape the child on. Alright. So we y'all can you know ask. It? Come on, all son. Right, my bad. Come on now. Alright. 
Yeah, uh, real deal though. Yeah, yeah. When, you know, we got to introduce some more of y'all music, believe it or not, because of the way that Screw them would chop and screw y'all music. Yeah, you know, right. it was like Screw was the radio. Mm -hmm. That's for, for another one of the reasons why I started Sumo World Radio because the element of the mixtape game and and the hand to hand like DVD game and all that stuff right. it went to YouTube now. So. Sumo World Radio is a, you can say I'm a drop off the old block, you know right, what I'm saying? I That's why I get, I get personal though. with the streets. That's why y'all on that red couch, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, yeah, yeah. I like it. Real deal though, real deal though. So crack, man, I, I seen you on Drink Champs, like 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 going in, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was chilling. I, it was all good business though, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No Nori, you know, shout out to Nori, he can be a dickhead sometimes. Oh but, man, but, he, he, yeah, yeah. My man. I, but, but I love the, the element of way that all y'all always truthful. And then all of y'all still like brothers and friends. Fuck their phone right now. The Golden Book Caller. I said it on my interview. But I love the way that y'all always rep for each other. Even when y'all not around each other, y'all still stand up for each other. And even when somebody is trying to seem like they separating the pack, yeah, I you, wasn't really you make it known that, that yeah. the pack is still the pack. Yeah, I like that shit. Oh, what's, what's, let's talk about what's next. You know yeah, what I'm so all, all that's next to that. How many more days y'all got left in y'all too? They just keep coming, man. We can't really say. I mean, we got officially like not a ten, but as the time go on, they just keep coming. I don't think we're gonna stop. It's probably going into like the summer. Or something. Most different, most different. So I got, I gotta go back to crack and ask some questions. I've been asking all my life. So I heard you on this record right when I was young with Scarface. Yeah, which one? Um, um, let, hold on. Let me not, let me not say the wrong <laughs> words because you, you called yourself the um. This can't be life. It's got to be more. Can't be us. And that song, I'm be honest with you, I signed for a seven year bid, all right? Yeah. That song was in my mind. I was rapping it the whole time I'm riding on the Bluebird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this can't be the end of me. I signed for seven, but I know I'm coming home. And when I come home, I'm going to be on like a motherfucker. And so I rapped that shit to myself. What was your inspiration when you got in there with Face? Because I know Face is a real not easy dude. Like, when it comes to studio time, like, he's, he's serious and he's in there or whatever. Yeah. So, what was your mode when you was in when you wrote that rap? I mean, that whole song came about, it was just so crazy, because uh, Jay, uh, Jay played the beat. Yeah. And he went in the latest verse. So when I saw Jay, it was only Jay verse on it. I was like, man, I know parts of that. Yeah, you, you said some of the realest things I ever heard on that. Face came in. That, that. So right before Face came in, I went in the studio, I laid my verse. And as soon as I laid my verse, I like was waiting on Face to get to the studio. Yeah. And Face was ticking up. You know how, if yeah. you know Face, you know how. Yeah, he was timing, yeah. Yeah. So as soon as he came, his, his verse, that that's what uh, resonates with me a lot. Because his verse was literally exactly everything he said in that verse. Real talk. He came in. We shook hands or talk shit. We played him the, the song he listened to about two or three times. Asked Rule to turn it down and turn it down. We took a call, walked outside the studio. And, you know, we like, damn, where the fuck face going? You know what I mean? He yeah. Just was, took a walk. He was in the zone. He came in the studio. Still, I, I still didn't know what was wrong. He just sat there at the track board. There it is, right here. When he got up, you could tell something was wrong because his partner that he was there with, they kept kind of conversing. Yeah. And stepping to the side. His face was just shaking his head. Because it, it was real. The, the, the feeling was real. He walked into the booth and just laid that verse, and it was crazy because we're talking about this a time span of life. 15 minutes. Real deal. Like 15, at a time. Fit, literally 15 minutes. And and is that the year when you when you was when you uh, had your young your oldest child, right? That one because I mentioned I know you mentioned him in the record. Yeah, no, I, I already had him. He was already here. Okay. He was already here. Yeah, because you mentioned your, your kids in the record yeah. and on such a deepness. I was like, man, this this is and see that's what I credit y'all for when it came to the music. Yeah, y'all made the club hits, right? Yeah. But y'all made the, the the heartfelt rap music. You know what I'm saying? It's like rhythm and blues on on lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt, yeah. that, that that definitely made you have to think a couple of times after you listen to it. 
Like it, 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 it would touch you and make you want to go back in with it. Like when today when I freestyled off the fill it in the air at Screw Shop, I ain't just freestyle really just because I was just vibing. Like fill in the air, that was a, a repetitious record that anybody going through anything and, and don't even know where, exactly where they finna go with it. That's something they can listen to over and over and over again. And I appreciate a lot of people in Houston can vouch for that because just that beat alone, we can vibe with that beat forever. It's just, it's, it's simply a masterpiece that got put together that y'all did, man. You know what I'm saying? Free, it, when, when Free first dropped, right? Was it the Free at last? Was that what, which one it was? Philadelphia Freeway. Yeah, I, when, I, when, I, when I first heard the CD come on, right? His voice, all right? Voice of like a, 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 a politician, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he he didn't just get on the track and for us he didn't just get on there and just rap it. He actually put it into prime. Like look, I'm a governor. I'm gonna tell y'all the real about what this, this shit really is. And, and free, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You had to have some balls to do the shit you did and say it the way you said. Cause I know where y'all from. That shit like rock and roll. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? They talk about it now with the young dudes, but when y'all was coming in, that's when it really was going down. You know what I'm saying? And so I know it took a whole lot. What up, crack? When this drink, when this airing? Because I want to let them know uh, some of the dates that's coming up. Go I'll, ahead. Let, I'll let you know, and then you can sign. No, nah, you keep, you, you just let it fly. All right, well, we got, we got a big show in Philly back in hometown the 23rd of this month. Which is in like a week from now at the Fillmore film. We need everybody to come out, even if you ain't from Philly, New York, DC, Jersey, Chester, from out here, whoever. That's gonna be one of our biggest shows, I think. Because it's at hometown, so we really need to support everybody. But we moving everywhere. We be in Virginia soon. And we got a lot of more things coming up. New Orleans coming up, DC, Charlotte, Baltimore. So that's work. Yeah, we moving, man. It's definitely a blessing. So so, so let me Put this beam on you right quick. Awesome. Can we expect a pretty crack solo joint? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking. I mean, yeah, definitely, I need man. That. I, I need that, dog. I need that. I, I, need owe, that. I owe everybody that. Like, you, I be feeling hey, bad. Yeah. Huh? When I first met him. Yeah. If we had this CD, like with all this music around the time when I first met, he had a CD. You talking about the underground shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I think it was Marky Street. Somewhere where I see him, I'm like, yo, yeah, I hunted him down. Time. I used to see the Bentley. I, he's at his Bentley Azor. I was like, oh, shit, that go Mac. I'm like, my man, I'm like, yo, gas it, catch him. <laughs> we catch him. I'm like, yo, Mac, yo, you ain't gonna ride up on him too quick. You're like, yo, yo, it's, yo, what's up? I just wanna get a CD, man. You know, the CD ain't shit. I'm like, I hope he listened to this shit. Yeah, real deal. Then I see his brother, like, a month later, his brother was so singing my song. He's like, yo, that's the kid from the CD. Yeah. I'm like, y'all listen to that shit. He's like, we love that shit, crack. Hey man, y'all story too is amazing though, cause like he always been like little brother once you got him, right? Like he always been on there, right? Yeah, like you like Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Well, they they uh, locked in first. Free actually what? introduced me to P. To crack. Yeah, yeah. Me and Free, me and Free grew up. I knew Free since I was like eight. We grew up on the same block. And we went to high school together and all that shit. So when he met Mac, then he started bringing Mac down our hood, and then we all we rap for him and shit. And you had to really show your ass. Yeah. And then Mac took a liking to me, like, yo, where the Rican boy at? Where the yeah. little poppy at? <laughs> so he always come down the hood, yo, get little Petey, man. And he's come get us and shit, and then it just started to grow, you know what I'm saying? And and so, so the, was that your inspiration for the fire that you Hell got? Hell yeah, because when they was on, and I'm watching my man that I grew up with on TV, and he with Seagull, and they with Jay. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm home. I'm like, yo, I gotta do this shit. Cause that's my man. It's yeah. real. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's real. That's my man. He on TV right now. We gotta, I gotta get in there. Man, you know well, God saying? bless y'all boys, man. Real right. talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Because simple fact, y'all still around. Y'all still healthy to get this bread. Y'all still right. able to just get on stage and rock. Y'all can go anywhere. Everybody knows y'all music. Y'all really ain't got to rap. You can just hold a mic out and they going to sing the words. You know what I'm saying? I got the project this year, too. It's called Think Free. Think Free. Think Free? It's everywhere, all streaming platforms. Y'all got to check it out. It's fire. Okay, all right. Oh, uh, me, 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 Freeway, and um, <coughs> Chris just shot a video oh, shit. like a week ago. We're gonna drop it on World Star in like a couple of days. Well, once you do, text me the link. I'll send it to you. Yeah. I got y'all. I'll make sure. Right. I'll make sure. I, listen, anything y'all do, like I tell every artist that I deal with when I'm doing these interviews, Sumo World is home for y'all, all right? 
Y'all yeah, come to the city, man. Rock with me. Whatever y'all need me to do, promo promo wise, uh, I'll push it. Whatever you radio wise, y'all need a single push on the radio. I got, I got a show five days a week on 90.1 uh, FM or whatever. So y'all guarantee I'm I'm a, I'm a rock with y'all, man. Let's run it. We appreciate that. All right. Last but not least, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for the interview, man. Stay right. property, man. Houston. All right. One hundred though.
Call that your fucking friend. Yeah. Yeah. A little hot, man. Hey, sound we this motherfucker, man. Let's go. Let's turn it off, man. Let's bring the fuck up in this motherfucker. Yeah. This is so ridiculous. If I love a winner, party here, get a cool head. It's a rock, it's one skill, but I'm fine. Boy, I'm trying to make you rock it. I can't help you fight. I'm gonna hold you down. 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 She just plays it. I'm gonna hold you down. She don't hold you down. She's a good kid. And we don't care how we suck. We just want to throw it down. And then we're good. And we just do it. It's a good chance. All night in the club, you like that. On the right track, yeah. I don't want you to fight that. I'll be right back when it's over. They just play the great bad boy in the world. Hey, Frank. What's up? We, we in H Town, right? Yeah, yeah we in H Town. You know you gotta hold it down, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Shut up, my nigga, Paul Wong. Call that your fucking boy. Get your weight up. 
came to Philly with us and jumped on a plane, man, and splashed yeah. all over the city of Philadelphia. And we man. locked in. So shout out, we locked in forever, you hear we me? We tied in, baby. The whole TSC, man, real talk. We, that's my nigga Sauce Walker right there. Come on, back. Let's, let's get, get back to it, baby. Here we go. Oh, you know no Where my nigga? Where my nigga? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm 